Yo, this is the Scar City Studios YouTube channel. Please don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. And our sponsors are Alpha Claims and Hire Birmingham, the leading and best accident management company. Get a replacement car anywhere in one hour. This story comes from Stockholm in Sweden. In the past few years, there has been a massive increase in popularity of gangster rap music. And two of the biggest artists in the country have just been jailed for their involvement in an Encro Chat conspiracy. Yassine Mahmoud, known as Yassin, formerly Yassin the Don, and also an artist called Haval, aka Haval Khalil, have been jailed for a kidnapping plot that was revealed when police intercepted EncroChat messages. This has also resulted in 27 other men being convicted for their involvement in the international drug ring that went from Sweden all the way to Spain. In total, 155 people have been arrested in Sweden for EncroChat related cases. And details have emerged after the trial that has convicted Yassin and Haval. Yassin was accused of planning to kidnap a rival artist in March 2020. And Haval was jailed for two and a half years and Yassin was jailed for 10 months. Police said that he planned the kidnapping but didn't take part in the actual event. The court heard that he planned to meet the victim and lured him to a recording studio in Stockholm to harm him or blackmail him, they said. The prosecution said that Yassin had received and passed on information and gave orders and instructions about the kidnapping. But the initial plot was aborted and then the victim was kidnapped later on by Haval, the other artist and friend of Yassin. Haval reportedly told the victim to come to an apartment where he tied him up, attacked and photographed him in humiliating positions. He then tried to blackmail him for money and when he refused to pay up, he posted them on social media. The convictions are part of a 27-person criminal network involving crimes like attempted murder, robbery and extortion. And a combined total of 147 years for those involved has been handed out by Swedish courts. The leader of the network was a 33-year-old named Shihab Lamori. And he received the longest sentence of all of them, 17 years and 10 months. Haval is a massive artist in Sweden and released single after single in 2020, including an album called Inlagad. Yassin has nearly a quarter of a million followers on Instagram and he was named Artist of the Year in the Hip Hop R&B category at Sweden's P3 Gold Awards in March. His album went number one as well and he's a certified platinum artist in the industry. Yassin has several top 10 singles and 26 million Spotify streams. Haval also has 82,000 Instagram followers and his music racks up millions of streams all the time. His biggest song on Spotify, Kandahar, has over 9 million plays since February 2020. Meanwhile, the leader, Shahab, who's 32 years old, was singled out as the leader by the police and said that he controlled the network they called the Varbin Network and he ruled it with an iron fist from his home in Spain. He denied all charges and said that a man called Mr. K is the one behind the criminal plans. A lot of evidence was produced in court to convict Shahab. The trial was against 30 defendants in total. The trial was expected to last until late summer and it has been surrounded by heavy security partly because of the accused people and their significant presence in the underworld. The trial began at Stockholm District Court and 16 of the 30 were present on that day. The Varbin network is described as a criminal network that feeds on drug trafficking according to the indictment. They supply a large number of weapons as well. And the prosecutor Anna Strafe said in the courtroom that this was a whole food chain of a gang. And they described in detail in EncroChat what they were planning. French police managed to hack the encrypted EncroChat network. And among a lot of other things as well, Swedish police could follow in real time when crimes were being planned. The criminals said they felt completely safe using EncroChat. And this gave the police a unique insight into what was going on. The charges were brought against them over a two month period. And some of them are murder plots, violent crimes and kidnappings. The prosecution said they would do absolutely anything to make money. By following the chats of the suspects, they gained a clear picture of the criminal network and how it operated and they said it was well disciplined and well organised. No one ever stood against the leader and he was the sole leader, the prosecution said. They said that several people were very close to the leader and they were lieutenants or sergeants. The police described that there was a network and a hierarchy in the organisation as well. And at level two, they were called captains. And below them was a third layer of captains in the field. And they were the soldiers that committed the acts ordered by the bosses. 
The network is described as having large amounts of money, drugs and weapons and operated in the Stockholm suburbs of Varby, Varberg and Alby. They were synonymous with people that lacked education and none of them had legal jobs and were all career criminals. There was 27 firearms seized and 8 kilos of explosives and 7 hand grenades. And police believed there was more hidden as well. They said that as a member of the Varby network you had to pay 3,000 in Swedish currency a month in order to support the network and to pay people that had come out of prison who had not snitched. The members were very devoted and they took their time to liaise only using EncroChat. In an interview, the leader of the gang Shahab admitted that he used the name called Majahid, but he was not the user of the phone in Spain. There was 15,000 pages of EncroChat messages that the prosecution brought against them. It's also been reported among the 27 people that have been arrested. One of them is a former pro footballer, a 24-year-old called Lika Jerkovic. He was sentenced to 11 years in prison for crimes including aiding and abetting attempted murder. Authorities say that he was a part of the top layer of the Varby network. He is of Serbian descent and he was on the verge of playing for Sweden's national team before we got injured and that directed him into a different lifestyle. The Serb allegedly negotiated the prices of murders and paid 1.5 million in Swedish currency for one attempt. According to local media, he was a former representative of Sweden and one of four captains of the mafia boss Shihab Lamori. The Swedish public say they're in disbelief at the fact that former soccer star went on to become a criminal, but the media say that he's been involved since as early as 2014, shortly before his career ended. Djokovic was accused of murder but was acquitted in 2015 and somebody also tried to kill him. He was sitting on a bench when he was shot five times in his leg and once in his arm and he also lost a friend shortly after who was murdered in drug gang rivalry in the city. In Sweden there has been 90 investigations that have started as a result of the infiltration of EncroChat. Many of them are regarding murder and attempted murder and so far 230 suspects have been convicted and 15 cases have been seen before the courts. Police have seized 50 firearms, explosives, several hand grenades, 1,300 kilos of narcotics and also money. Several court proceedings are still taking place and are expected to go on until 2021. So I really appreciate you joining me for this story and please don't forget there's even more information available on the written version on the website where you can get more details on the history of EncroChat and links to former coverage as well because I've got a whole playlist on EncroChat, the UK, Dutch, Spain and also Sweden now. So please don't forget to follow us online at Scar City Studios. I'll be back again very shortly with some more news. Peace. Say look these prices, you gotta pay the price to your poor You're scared of the alt for me bro Oh, you're bad for a prata rom You can back at the prata rom Fuck them some hot time, if you found But I hot I don't But I understand, I'm a bit of a fun I think I'm a fuck, I'm a hot and I'm a time in design I'm a top and I'm a trot, I'm a fuck, I'm a miss